Hi friends, today we are going to see a new topic called circular convolution. So let us see today circular convolution. So what do you mean by circular convolution and when do we use circular convolution? Circular convolution is used only for periodic signals. So if the signals are periodic, then only we go for circular convolution. So it is a mandatory condition. Second mandatory condition for circular convolution is both the signals, both the signals like x of n and h of n must be must be of same length. So first mandatory condition is signals to be periodic. Second mandatory condition is both the signals should be of same length. So for convolution we use the signal as x of n and h of n. So both of them should be of equal size or equal length. In short I can say that the same sentence we can brief as the period this is very important the period of x of n and h of n must be the same. So we should have the period x of, of x of n and h of n to be the same. Then only I can perform a circular convolution. So if these two conditions are met then we can go for circular convolution. Any of the conditions are not satisfying then we must first satisfy them and then perform circular convolution. For example, if we have x of n as 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of n as 1, 1, 1, 1, then the period of the signal is 4 that is n is equal to 4 and here also n is equal to 4. So the given condition is the period of the signal is 4. In question it should be mentioned that the signal are periodic because looking at the sequence we cannot say that the signals are periodic or non periodic. So in the problem they must specify that you have to go for a, or it is a periodic signal. Now this signals are periodic and with period of 4 how to represent the signal. So let us see how to represent a periodic signal. A periodic signals are the one which repeat themselves after ev after the period. I will draw one and then I will show you another representation of it. So let us say x of n it is 1, 2, 3 and 4. 0 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 so for a periodic signal this four samples will repeat in the negative side of n and the positive side of n so after n is equal to 3 the n is equal to fourth sample will be 1 again this will be 1 again in similar fashion for minus 1 it will be 4 for minus 2 it will be 3, for minus 3 it will be 2 and so on so forth. Okay, So we say that we can say that periodic signals okay, repeats after the fundamental period after the fundamental period that is in our case after n is equal to 4 that is after 4 sample the fifth sample will be the first sample again that is the first point of a periodic signal to be noticed. Second periodic signals periodic signals are infinite length signal. As we can see that 
the periodic signal will always repeat itself. So if I put n is equal to minus infinity or n is equal to plus infinity, I will have a sample. So periodic signals are infinite in length and periodic signals repeat after a fundamental period. Likewise, for n is equal to 4, I will have after fourth sample, the fifth sample will be the same as that of the first sample and so on and so forth in both the direction of n. Now, let us see how to represent this signal. The representation of the signal is like a clock. So I will make a circle. On a circle, I will divide that circle into four equal parts. And let us start with a 12 noon or 3 o'clock, let us say. So I will start from 3 o'clock like x of 0, that is n is equal to 0, I am putting over here x of 1 which is n is equal to 1 I am putting over here, x of 2 I am putting over here and x of 3 I will be putting over here. Okay? So x of 0 is 1 for us, x of 1 is 2, x of 2 is 3 and x of 3 is 4. Now what will be x of 4? x of 4 will be same as that of x of 0. So after x of 3 the sequence will repeat itself like in our clock. After 12 o'clock, we don't have a number called 13 in our clock, but we have 1 because our clock is wrapped around 12. Okay? In the same way, the sequence is wrapped around 0 over here. Okay? So, after 12, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Right? So, our clock is also a periodic sequence with 12 sequences in picture starting from 1 to 12. So the period is 12 in that case, not 11 because it is not starting from 0, it is starting from 1. So total 12 sequences and it is wrapped around 12. That means after 12, I will have again 1. So that is a periodicity or that is an example of periodicity. Now we have seen that both the sequence x of n and h of n have the same sequence length or have same period that is 4 then y of n which is output sequence that is when we will get final after convolution will also have n samples. So unlike linear convolution here in circular convolution we will have n samples in the output. If x of n is 4, h of n is also 4, then y of n will be 4 again. So we will have n samples in the output sequence. Thank you.